Hey Washington dudes, it's Torbray and this is the second instalment for the 50 subs Kate Marathon. Thank you guys so much, I love you guys, oh my god, you guys are amazing. <laughs> okay, okay, so um, for my second instalment of the 50 subs marathon, I've got for you today, a cake hidey hole. It's like a broken 3x3 three three lower half of a door. Like, um, usually with a uh, bottom half of a 3x3 three three door, um, it would close like that, but that block would disappear. But, yeah, this is just for cake. We don't need the bottom half of a 3x3 three three door. We don't need a hipster door. No. Uh. This is pretty fast and pretty compact. Uh, this is the first one I've ever seen yet and yeah I think it looks pretty cool in a wall so um, just having a look at the redstone uh, ignore that bit that's just for the input so if I just flick this lever here whoa what the goose <laughs> yeah so this uh, circuit just relies on an ever circuit so um, this part's just an ever circuit so when you initiate um, the ever circuit, what happens is this piston is fired first, sending the block here. And then after that, there's a repeater over here on two ticks. So two ticks later, it shoots the block up here in front of that cake. Then what happens after that is uh, when this is turned off, then the signal for this turns off. But this piston doesn't draw back yet because this four tick repeaters still holding it in check. This piston draws back first and then this piston. So what happens is this block gets pulled back like so and then back into that piston like that. And then for the second part, there's a block up here in front of it in front of the cake. There's a monostable circuit excuse me. That um, goes into uh, that first fires into that bottom piston to push it up. Then it just activates a double extender pulling it down. It's, it's incomplete, which means it just leaves a block hanging there. Um, for any advanced redstoners, I'm pr well, any intermediate redstoners, I'm pretty sure you understand all of this. For any beginners, hey, don't sweat it. Um, if you join uh, redblocks.com, then uh, you'll learn a lot more about redstone and such. But hey, yeah, let's just uh, get on to the tutorial because I'm pretty sure I'm going to build this in my survival LP later on today. Spoilers! Okay, let's move on. So this is where I'm going to put my cake. Heidi hole thing. So first what you want to do is place your cake here. And, yeah, take out those two blocks. So everything you'll need is going to be in the hot bar, apart from the cake. Uh, well, you always need cake, but you've got your stack of wiring blocks, three sticky pistons, six redstone dust, six repeaters, and a stone stab, redstone torch, a lever, and your display blocks, which I'm going to use as quartz here. So first what you want to do is you want to do your piston placement. So you're going to make a sort of shape like this, and you want to place a piston facing in from the side, then place two pistons facing up like so in a double extender sort of thing. Next what you want to do is you want to place a sort of T, stubby T, and then you want to place a repeater facing into that piston on two ticks of delay and rest and dust on top of that block. Then what you want to do is place a block on the diagonal to that block like so, facing down and rest and dust on top of that. Place two blocks like so, repeater facing into that block on four ticks of delay, upside down slab like so. And yeah, that's the upper circuit. So I'll show you what I mean. If I place a block like that, and then I place my lever like so. So that pushes it like so, and that pushes up, um, pushing it in front of that cake block. And then when you flick the lever, that piston retracts first, and then that piston retracts second, pulling that block back. So yes, that's, um, that's probably one of the hardest bits done. Then all you need to do is just place a redstone torch underneath that upside down slab, going into a, a repeater like so, into a block. Uh, set that repeater in, on two ticks of delay, 
into an upward piston block, repeater facing away, into a block. Rest down on top, block, repeater on two ticks of delay. Then you want to place a block in front of that repeater, always remember to shift click. Then you want to place something like this, a sort of sideways T like before, then you dig out the middle block again like so. Place a repeater facing in on two ticks of delay. Then finally you want to place your two redstone dust like so. And that is it. So what you want to do to finish off is you place your block there, like that. Then you place your block in front of this block. And then when you get your lever again, it's completely covered. When you unflick it, it goes like that. So that's nearly all of you done. Now it's just wiring up the circuit. So just a careful note, don't place re redstone dust um, in front of us. Uh, dust like so, or red, redstone repeater, because this dust is supposed to point into that piston. Otherwise, you can power your block here or here, the, any of these two blocks. Then we just break it like so. Uh, God, I really don't like this. Like so. Just replace all of that. So yeah, those two input blocks. Then, if you want to say place your lever here then you just need to um, power any of these two blocks what I did in my demonstration in my demonstration what I did I placed a wall in front like so then I placed a redstone torch behind that lever block then a piston facing down with a redstone block like that and then it worked pretty efficiently So that is it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, favor, and subscribe. I always enjoy your subscriptions. They always keep me appreciated. <laughs> I don't get enough appreciation in my life. I'm pretty much an outcast. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, cheers for watching, dudes. Uh, what's coming up next uh, after this episode is going to be more Cake Defense 2 um, and a Minecraft sketch on... Well, you're going to have to find out. Also, depending on my laziness and whether I'm actually willing to do it. Cheers for watching, dudes. See you later.